Hello friends! We are back with another 1001 Tarot Spreads video. This one is number 32, and the book calls this the Healing Spread. It's for when you have the question of, there's nothing physically wrong. The doctors can't find anything specific. So what should I be looking towards? It's a three card spread, and we're gonna get right into it. Again, we are going to be using the Chromatic Fates Tarot. Links to the artists and the project itself will be in the description. So card number one is what lifestyle change could assist me here? Card number two is what can I remove from my life to be under less stress? Card number three is what unexpected resource is present that I just haven't acknowledged yet. So we're going to shuffle and see what these three options are. All right. Card number one. What change do I need to make? The Two of Cups reversed. What do I need to remove? Ooh, the King of Swords reversed. And what resources are available? The Knight of Swords. Okay, interesting. So the first thing, what lifestyle change do I need to make? Uh, the Two of Cups was drawn by Cami Hines. It is reversed. So we're going to focus primarily on the imagery here. We have someone gazing wistfully into the mirror at a figure who in... I'll hold it up again. So we have a humanoid figure looking into the mirror at what is very clearly an aquatic figure. You gotta let go of the things you cannot change. You have to let go of the people who do not fit in your current life. This does not make them bad people. This does not make you a bad person. Just like the figures in this picture, one has to exist underwater and one has to exist on land. Neither is better or worse than the other. They just are not compatible. Find the people who are incompatible with your desired life and let them go. Express gratitude for what you have received from them, but don't hold so firmly that you are hurting yourself. Card number two. What do I need to let go of? So it's fascinating that the two cards, the two changes are both things that need to be let and go of. So the King of Swords was drawn by Toby Corden. Yeah, Corden. It was reversed. So King of Swords is typically the one who has mastered their trials, who has gone through the other side. They have tempered themselves into someone who can face the challenge with a level head. They tend to be more analytical. It being a king card is very masculine energy. It's, I see a problem, I solve it right away. My read from this is, listen to your heart. Just because something logically is the right choice, if your heart is telling you no, that will be very difficult to overcome. Make sure that your heart and your mind are in agreement with the changes that you need to make. Card number three, unexpected help, is the Knight of Swords, which was drawn by Kat G. Vermelin. In this case, I feel that this is an unexpected person who will provide aid. Being the Knight card, it is a younger, masculine energy person. Not a, that does not mean that it has to be a man. It might be a woman, it's just 
The way they approach their problems is the stereotypical masculine way. It is okay to allow other people to help you. It is okay to say, you know what, I have this problem, I'm going to delegate it to you because you know what you're doing and I trust you. So look for that person who has that young masculine energy. It might be a tomboy, it might be an actual boy, but who has the desire to help you. Let them take point on those things that are just draining your energy unnecessarily. I hope that this is helpful to those who are seeking healing at this time, seeking a little guidance on how to balance the energy of their life. If you enjoyed this reading or have gained any benefit from it, consider liking, subscribing, and if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.